and cool well thank you ladies so much for joining us today I know it's a Thursday night um, we had such a very successful um, mommy interview earlier this week with Amber Swanson and I just had such a high demand of people wanting more and so yes I am gonna be doing this more I had already planned it I have a list of people who I will be interviewing each week we may take a break next week and then just come back to it um, the following week but my name is Lindsay Mattingly for those of you who don't know me I live out here in Charleston, South Carolina. I'm a mom, I'm a wife, I'm a entrepreneur. I live on a farm, I'm a health professional. I absolutely love, 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 love what I do, and I enjoy helping women like you. I had actually just started a uh, Million Moms movement where I am on a mission to empower women how to live a purposeful life. Because we are more than just a mom, we are more than just a sister, daughter, grandma, we are more than who we are. We're very unique. We're born with talents. And you know, I don't know if you felt the same way, and I'm sure, Tanya, you went through this though too. You know, there are moments where I'm just sitting there, I'm like, okay, I am more than just a mom. Like, I, I feel like I'm more than just a stay-at-home mom. I have so much to offer out here, and I, I want to bring more to the table. And so that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to educate all of you women who are listening in right now, who are listen, tuning in, listening into the recording, that you can provide more, you can put in more. All you have to do is just get connected with yourself. So I'm interviewing moms who've had very successful businesses, um, home-based business, ran them part-time from their home. They're able to be home part-time or maybe they replace their current income and they're able to be home with their kids. There's even moms I'll be interviewing that are making more than their husband's full-time job so there are ways that you can pro provide more and help more people and moms like you who are just desiring more out of life so I am super excited to have this lovely young lady she is a fit mom um, I got connected with her not too long ago with a business that we're in we are colleagues and we just instantly connected I saw her speak on stage I'm like I gotta get to know that woman I mean she's very powerful she's a leader she's a mom she's a mom of three she lives in uh, Meriden, Idaho. Her background is in retail management and marketing. And she's been a stay-at-home mom for about seven years, and she was actually introduced to network marketing home-based businesses back when she was 21. And now she's been with her current business right now, um, and she is at a rank in a company where the average the average rank earns about 10 grand per month. And so now she is just empowering other people to realize their own untapped, God-given potential. I mean, she really wants to help other people just get in touch with themselves. So. So, Tanya, you there? I'm here. All right. I can see your pretty face. Awesome. And so, Hi. hey, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself, um, your background, you know, who, who's Tanya? Okay. Um, so, I was born and raised in South Dakota, and I'm the oldest of three girls. I was not raised around an entrepreneurial family, um, just, you know, very happy middle class, very happy childhood, but I always kind of had that desire that I was on this earth for a very big reason. I also, pretty much my entire life, have walked around um, lacking confidence. I just was always judging myself against other people, thinking that I just was not worthy of them. And so I was very, very shy. Um, and so going into college, I only went to college because I got scholarships. I really just didn't know what I wanted to do, but I knew that I wanted to make an impact in some way. I had pictured myself being a very successful businesswoman, but all I knew was athletics at that time. And I was introduced to the industry of network marketing when I was in college. And it wasn't the products that I saw, it was the people that I met because they were confident and they exuded this posture and this happiness that I was seeking. So I really fell in love with that industry and I sought it out and I wanted to be a part of it. I wanted to find that purpose for me because I love being a wife, I love being a mother, but just like you said, Lindsay, I was looking for my purpose outside of that because I knew it was there, 
but I just didn't feel like I could tap into it by working for someone else. So I've sought after being an entrepreneur my entire life. And I finally found the right vehicle through the industry of network marketing to really help me tap into the best me that I can be. And I'm still growing. I've only just tapped the surface. I know that. And that makes me so, so excited. And I'm finding my confidence. And that's something I could never find before um, on my own. I had to surround myself with good people to find that. So that's me. That's where I'm at today. Yeah. No, that's awesome. That's very cool. And you said that you were shy. I don't believe that. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> this girl like stood on stage in front of thousands of people and spoke. So it was just so awesome. But, um, but anyways, I know that you, with your kids, are your kids very active in sports? They are. Yep. I have a 10 year old and a 12 year old. And then I have a stepdaughter that's 22. Um, and the 10 year old and 12 year old, I, I just, I want them to be active. Um, I want to, my goal and mission has been for them to hold the kind of confidence that I did not have. So through prayer and affirmations and being around positive people, I really try to put them in the position to equip them for life, to be confident in their decisions and to not um, judge themselves on the opinions of other people. And it does keep me very busy, um, but I love it. I love being a mom and I love that I can do it and I can be home and I get to take them wherever they need to go. I don't have to ask for time off. I don't have to ask for permission. I can do it. Mom's always there. Yeah, I like that. And it's the same with my daughters because I got two daughters that are ages five and six. And uh, one just started gymnastics. The other one's just kind of playing at the daffodils, whatever. But, you know, so it's, it's nice to have that time freedom <laughs> to hang out with them and enjoy those times with them because I know – you know, with your, with your background in retail management and stuff, you wouldn't have been able to participate very much with them because your hours had to have been crazy, right? Yeah, it was crazy. I mean, and me working for somebody else, it's, I think when people have a job, you're obviously looking for some kind of affirmation for yourself when you have a job. You know, you need money, but you want to feel good while you're doing it. But I think more often than not for moms, that job really is a wash when you think of it. Like you're paying for someone to take care of your children. And at the end of that check, there's not a lot left. So why are we doing it? Because people need that little bit of extra income and they feel good half the time, I think, while they're working for someone else. Maybe you're you know, moving up the ranks or you're getting appreciation while you're there. But at the same time, you have no freedom, you have no time. And, you know, I would take my kids early in the morning, pick them up in the afternoon. And that I think is a commonplace. That's just what a lot of people assume everybody goes through. And I just love it when I get to open up people's minds to the fact that it doesn't have to be that way. That programming that we know of having someone else take care of our children and having daycare, whatever it is while you go work, it can be different. It can be so much better and you can put yourself around better people and you can determine your income. You can determine the time off that you get. No one has to tell you what you can or cannot get. I remember working for a mortgage company, doing the marketing for them. And I helped that company grow very successfully by nurturing the brokers and helping them create relationships with um, realtors. And I played a big part in that. And the minute I went and I asked for a raise, I didn't get it. It was taken away from me. There was just no appreciation. But when I get to work from home and I get to help people and then be around my children and they get to see what I'm doing, it's just a win-win. Um, yeah, I wouldn't take it back for the world. I can't imagine my life any other way right now. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. You know, um, as a personal trainer, I'm unemployed until my clients show up. And it's very inconsistent. And, um, and you know, it, I absolutely love what I do as a personal trainer. But, you know, I because I've helped people become elite athletes. And they're going into, like, for example, we train the Boston Red Sox. And, you know, and what's in, I, in the back of my mind, I had a little bit of jealousy <laughs> because they're making the big bucks. And I only made the mediocre money. And I helped them get there, though but they're the one that's getting more notice. And so now is our time as moms to like, it's, it's, 
what I really got connected with this industry is that we we get to step up now we're stepping up from behind the curtain and we are the stars of the show but here's the thing is everybody we're bringing people with us to become stars of the show as well too and so that's that's the cool thing is that we're empowering people so I I really get you I get connected with that too so I know that you started network marketing uh, when you were 21 and so um, tell me like what grabbed your attention with it um, were you successful when you first started and what changed and why now? Uh, good question. Um, when I got in, it was because I was given hope. It was something new that I'd not been exposed to before. And it was the person the person that approached me for my first opportunity, she really made me feel good in a way that I hadn't felt before. And so it was her that got me to go to this presentation. I, I wanted to know what she knew because she exuded a confidence that I yearned for. But the problem was I would, I, I tried many of them. And I always thought if I got into something that was well known, that people already knew about, that that was to my um, credit that it would be easier for me, but it, it's not, it was harder. I found myself being a salesperson because I was having to compete with things that I know out of the goodness of my heart that they could go get someone somewhere else. And I just didn't like selling to my friends and family. Um, so I, I would get in and I would quit and I did that seven times over. And no one ever really took me under their wing to mentor me. I even went sometimes finding people to sign me up because I was so <laughs> eager to be an entrepreneur. I knew that would, I knew that was it. I knew that was my vehicle. There was no other way that I could live the life I wanted to live because I didn't have the capital or the finances to open my own coffee shop or anything like that. And that's been done. It's already out there. You've got to be like a Bill Gates you know, to get, be at the forefront of a cutting edge idea. I don't have a mentality like that, but I love people. I have a really big heart and that can only get you so far in corporate America. So I knew with network marketing that my greatest asset, my heart would help me to grow and would help me make and create the kind of living that I wanted to create. So the current company I'm in, it was introduced to me by my best friend about five years ago almost. And she stayed with me for like a whole summer trying to get me in. And she'd never done network marketing. So I didn't take her seriously. I just kind of said, hey, good luck. You know, I know what it's like. Been there, done that. But she was succeeding and she kept talking to me. And so I finally took a look and it just felt different. What she was showing me felt different because it wasn't like anything I'd ever seen. And I knew that I would be the only one that people could get it from. So I got in, but I got in full of fear. I was so afraid because I had not succeeded before. How was this going to be different? But I got in and I got in for me. I got in because I wanted to prove to myself what I could do and what I was capable of. And there is no other vehicle in this world that would, would have made me who I am today without this because I was suddenly surrounded by amazing people that had gone through it, that had grown, that knew all the necessary tools I needed to grow my confidence, grow my business, be a leader, and talk to people the right way, be a good listener. I, I can't, what I've gained, you can't get in a college education. You just can't. It's just, it's priceless. And that's why, like, where I'm at today, I will never, ever leave, ever. I can't imagine my life without it. And that is what I want. My growth has been so exponential. And I know it is hard for people to believe that I was once shy. People thought I was stuck up. I was so shy. Like, I just <laughs> was afraid that everybody was looking at me a certain way. Lindsay, I have to tell you this, too. So when we had the women's event in Vegas <clears throat> and you were doing the, the Zumba class, like I, I hope, okay, I remember walking in there and going, this chick, she's hot, she's fit, <laughs> she's confident, she can move, like she's amazing. Like you just exuded this amazingness. 
And I was intimidated by that. I really was. <laughs> so I, I'm still working on things like that. I'm still comparing myself today and I'm getting so much better. But Lindsay, I hope you know that that's the way people see you, that you are amazing. And I hope that you're programming yourself enough. And I, I, I hope you are to know how beautiful and amazing you are. Don't see yourself any other way. Cause that's true. Like when I saw you, I was like, dang, <laughs> you're amazing. And I, I think that's what I'm trying to deal with too today. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just knowing, <laughs> it's knowing how people are starting to see me and taking it in and allowing myself to see that same person when I look in the mirror. That's a big deal. <laughs> like I could cry. That's a big deal. Mm -hmm. And that's what I want for other women. Like there's so much in us when we were children, like playing, doing whatever we wanted. We didn't ask for permission. We should be that way today. Still living like crazy living and not worrying about the judgment of other people. And that is my passion. Yes. I want other women to know that like you're amazing and you being an entrepreneur, that's when you really tap into who you really are and what you can do in this world. That was a long answer. <laughs> <laughs> I freaking love it though. I love it. It's great. Oh, you froze. <laughs> oh no, your head froze. <laughs> You're coming. Can you, can you hear me? Okay. I can hear you good. Okay, there you go. Sorry. You're close. It was your head like this for a little while. <laughs> okay. Oh, great. Well, at least I wasn't like. <laughs> I know. I know. At least you were at your nose. But, girl, you know, that really yeah. touched me because you are right dead on about that. You know, um, some people think that as a successful woman, we had it easy. And we had the perfect life. And it was given to us. And so as a mom, you know, I'll be honest, I used to think that way because that's how my brain was taught. That's just how my mind was taught when I was younger. But not only that, you know, I had, I mean, I, I'll, I'm there with you. I had a very troubled past. You know, I was sexually abused, physically abused, emotionally abused. And so I really connected with that because it is our mission as women leaders to empower other women out there that, that you really are unique. We have these significant talents and, um, you know, I, I know exactly what you said is just empowering these women who are listening to you right now and, um, who are going to be listening to the recording as well, because we are on a mission to really, uh Oh, you there? Oh, your bandwidth is low. I'm here. Okay. Yeah. You just froze a little bit. Okay. There it goes. Yeah, it shows that you're red. <laughs> oh. Well, 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 yeah, that's okay. Uh -oh. I know. Got a lot. Hey, this is the cool thing is that we can do this eons away. I mean, you are states away from me, and we're, like, talking to each other in each other's room, and I got connected with that. You got me teary-eyed. But, um, but, you know, I got really connected with that, and um, we really need to realize that we are – unique. We are amazing. And this is what I always tell my clients who are at that low. And I challenge you and I challenge everybody on here as well to look at yourself in the mirror and just tell yourself you're beautiful every single day. Do it as many times as you can every single day that you are beautiful because we are, we're so beautiful. It doesn't matter what size you are, how tall you are, how, you know, where you're from. I mean, we are so unique and beautiful in every single way. And that's what, that's what is so cool about network marketing and being an entrepreneur is that you're right. It does get you connected with you. You know, it gets you connected with who your true potential is because those experiences that we're going through, we are meant to share them to empower other people how to get through those, you know? And so I just think that is so, so cool. So, um, you know, uh, what note did I take here? Okay. So with that kind of being said, with just like a, um, real quickly, like what, you know, as a mom, when we're hearing about home-based businesses, it can be kind of a scary thing. So 
what do you think would be a great starting point as a mommy when you're, for someone who's looking into a home-based business, like what's the number one thing that they should really be looking for? The people. Um, I really think if you're looking for a home-based business, you should look at the people and know, look at the support line. Um, look at, you know, the, the person that's coming in, who are they plugged into? Um, the posture that they have. And, you know, I'll tell you, when I first got in, the fear that I had affected who I spoke to. Um, and now today, I speak to people I wouldn't have spoke to before, you know, that I otherwise would have been intimidated with. But yeah, just really look at the people and also look at the timing of it. The timing is crucial because if you get in, we have Sensi in our area. Um, and it's been a really around a really, really long time. And getting in, you can make some money, but you're going to have to work a lot harder. But to get in before the wave has hit the company, that's when you want to get in. Um, that's when you want to be a part of it. So I, sorry, I think these things are freezing me. I would say the timing and the support, the people. Are, are you getting bugs or do you, are you in the sticks? Yeah, you, I, people get, yeah, I'm like, stop. <laughs> are you in McClellanville? Because that's where I, I don't want it to freeze. <laughs> <laughs> No, you're so right. The people, I mean, you meet people like you, then yeah. that's what's so cool. And, you know, would you agree that you're the sum of the five people you hang out with, right? And, Absolutely. you know, yeah. And being able to hang out with positive people who are on the same mission as you who desire that change like you, you know, that's, that's why my husband and I, we, we left Indiana and, you know, we love our family and our friends but they were not on the same mission as us and we had to change our environment. So, you know, so that's something for we as women and moms need to look at, okay, if, if we're not going where we need to go, maybe we need to look into changing our environment and surrounding ourselves by positive people. So I totally agree with you on that one. So, you know, so what would be, um, you know, a few minutes, like what would be one huge nugget that you, Oh, wait, wait, before I get into that, um, um, I forgot about this last time too. Can you share one success story um, of somebody in your team, um, like a mom, or it could be a woman or a mom, um, and how this home based business has helped them? Yeah, I would say I can think of one now. It just happened recently. That's why it comes to the forefront of my mind. Um, she is in her 50s. And she has been a PE teacher, um, I think, over 20 years. And she had envisioned just being able to retire earlier than she would have normally. She loved what she was doing, but this woman has a zest for life. Like PE teacher to the nth degree. She's the one running around with the kids. And she has looked to be an entrepreneur her entire life as well. And she's looked at different opportunities. And we shared this one with her and it was the people. She loved the people and she loved what we had to offer. She'd never seen anything like it. And she knew she had to be a part of it. And it was two years in and she was able to make that dream come true. She was able to walk out with a handful of balloons that we brought to her, a group of people waiting for her and let them go and fly high. And she was able to retire. And now she gets to be an entrepreneur full time. She doesn't have to worry about asking for time off when she goes on vacations or goes to events. Like her time is hers now. And that's the way that life should be. And I can't wait to do that over and over and over and over again. It's always a big party when you get to change people's lives that way. And you know, that's one example of someone retiring, but some of the greatest examples too are people that I see that come in in the beginning with a desire but their shoulders are forward, their head's kind of down, they're not walking with a lot of confidence, and then little by little, you see them get in front of the room, and then they get in front of the room again, and their shoulders are back a little more, and they're stepping up, and they're stepping into who they really are, and that's when, I mean, the floodgates open for Tanya, because I, 
I almost physically can't handle it when I see that because I love, love, love when that happens for people because I know it's only the beginning of their full potential and they are finally realizing that it's there. And no one ever told them that before. It's just like you said, like you have to surround yourself with really good people. And sometimes I've had situations where people are succeeding and they have people in their life that are resentful of that. And they don't say that they're resentful, but their actions speak it because of their own insecurities and their own fear. And if those are people in your life that you have, you have to make that choice to cut ties and walk away from that. Because there are people out there that want to lift you up, that want you to be successful and will empower you because you need that. You need to have that daily discipline and those people it's just so, it's so important because it's hard to do it on your own. So you need to surround yourself with really good people because that's when you can really keep moving forward. Yeah, I agree. You know, um, it really helps. You can, you can change a little bit with one, but you can really empower many with many, you know, and just locking arms with other people. So, so what would be uh, one nugget for all the mamas that are listening on right now that um, you would like for them to hear and just walk away with? Like, what would be one big nugget that you want to share with them? Um, <clears throat> I guess I would say that words are like seeds. So if you speak it, you give life to it. And it can start to grow or it could die. So you have to be careful what you say. And you have to be careful what comes out of your mouth. Mm -hmm. um, if you're someone that doubts yourself and verbally says that, or you're someone that says, this can't happen for me, or I'm sure this isn't going to work out this time, or I'm sure that won't happen, and you look back on that, typically that's the way that it goes. Your, your energy that you put out there is so strong, and the words you say are so strong, you give them life. So even if you don't feel like a million-dollar earner, Tell yourself, I'm a very successful, I'm a very successful entrepreneur. I'm an amazing mother. I'm an amazing wife. Those, those I am statements, those daily affirmations, say those to yourselves, put them on paper, write them down a couple times. Pretend you're in school and you got in trouble and you got to write the spelling words down 50 times. Write down those I am statements over and over and over again and feed that, feed that to yourself because then you give that life. And then you start, that starts that growth process for you where you walk around with this belief that, yes, I am. So that would be my biggest nugget is just watch what you say and discipline yourself enough. You can't do this once a week. You just can't because life is hard and the world we live in today is hard. So just as you have to feed your faith daily, just as you had to feed your body daily, you've got to feed yourself as well mentally. You've got to program your brain so that you have that filter ingrained that when something goes wrong or someone maybe hurts you in some way, you can step back. Sorry. You can step back, you can evaluate it, and then you can handle that situation with grace because you know who you are. That's yeah. what I would say. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. I like it. And yeah, yeah, you're. You're totally on like that. I like that words are like seeds and it really is. You know, people leave by how they feel and they remember things by how they feel. So words really do mean a lot. And if you make that person feel like a true person, um, you know, and you keep watering them with those type of words, it's going to help them get connected with themselves, you know, so you're truly on with that. So, you know, we're, we're um, out of time, which stinks. You know, I, I'd like to get a bottle of wine and we could drink some more or whatever. I'm drinking water, <laughs> but, um, but anyways, you know, so how, yes, yes. I call that my Craxio, but I, you know, um, <laughs> how, is, how how can we find you tanya like do you have a business page are you on facebook like how can we find you for those listening in yeah thank you i am on instagram uh tt sheldon i'm on facebook uh tanya sheldon public figure entrepreneur i have a business page um, my personal page is public as well 
Um, everything's public. So Tanya Sheldon and then Tanya Sheldon, entrepreneur, a public figure. Um, and yeah, and then I'm on Instagram as well. I try to daily on Instagram inspire. And I've really cultivated some great relationships that way as well. Um, I just think Instagram's a great thing. And I'm new to Snapchat, but I think it's pretty, pretty fun. Um, I don't even remember my call sign. I think it's I, T. T. Sheldon 4. I keep but, hearing um, <laughs> I'm going to play with that a little bit. <laughs> I have no I, know. <laughs> I, have I no always have my 12-year-old on standby when I'm using it. She's always yeah. rolling her eyes like, really, Mom? Yeah, I know. It's, it's yeah. I'm like, I I don't get it. It's like Twitter. I don't really get Twitter anyways either. But you know, the awesome. So that's how we can find you. The cool. Well, um, and also, yes, um, thank you. So everybody knows though too. Um, I do have a business page, Lindy Mattingly, and that's public figure as well. And this is recorded. So it is on my page. I will be uploading this tonight and then you can go into my notes section. I have Amber Swanson's from earlier this week and then Tanya's will be, um, I should have that posted by tomorrow. So that will be up. So then people can replay it, share it and as much as you want as well too. Um, I have great motivational and fitness tips on there so that way you can follow that as well. But Tanya, thank you so much for helping out guiding on here, empowering women. You are an amazing, beautiful woman inside and out. I absolutely adore you. I'm looking forward to seeing you next week and um, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thank you for asking me. I'm so honored. I really, I loved it. Loved it. Loved it. Love you. You're amazing. Thank uh, you so much. <laughs> thanks. Thanks a lot. All right. We're going to go ahead and end it there. <laughs> Bye ladies. Thank you for joining on. Have a great rest of the week. Bye everybody. Bye. Bye. <laughs>